Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, welcome. My name is Savannah Simpson. I am a professional makeup artist in the film industry and for today's makeup we will be doing men's makeup. Now this is not your everyday men's makeup, this will be a camera ready for film and photography. You may ask what the difference is between everyday makeup and film and photography. Now film and photography makeup uh, intensifies your features as well as being very simplistic and minimal and also mattifying the skin. The main difference between those two is the fact that you're working with the lighting in your surroundings rather than your everyday where it's just evening out your skin tone and covering up your blemishes. Now we got our model Nick here with us. <laughs> He's our little guinea pig for the day. <laughs> So first things first, we will be using hand sanitizer to be cleaning our hands before we apply and prep our client's skin since we want to make sure our hands are nice and clean. I am just using a aloe vera infused hand sanitizer, one of those little mini ones from Target. Now to prep our client's face, we will be using Witch Hazel on a cotton pad. And I like Witch Hazel just because I feel like it's one of the most universal that I've used and not many people have reactions to it, which is a great plus. So we will just be going in with this. Now you want to be careful if your client has any facial hair, especially with these cotton pads, because sometimes they get like stuck. In it so I try to just go around it and avoid any of the facial hair or if I do I just pat very gently on top of it sometimes I'll clean down the neck area too So next we will be applying some serum to his face and I will be using the Say Bella Timeless Age Defying Serum. This serum is awesome because you don't need a lot of it and it also works on every skin type as well. So I'll just be applying a little bit on the back of my hand. Usually a pump will do and I make sure to warm it up and rub it in my hand since we'll be applying it skin to skin because it helps the skin absorb the product more. After we have our serum on the face, we will be using a lotion. And for this lotion, we will be using the Ultra Repair Face Moisturizer from, I think this is the First Aid brand? Yes, the First Aid Beauty brand. This is like super small, kind of hard to read. So I'll just be using a small amount on the back of my hand. Not much. And I'll be going in with my hands on this one as well. I always like to have just a hand towel on hand to be wiping my hands throughout this process. So as the face is absorbing the serum and the lotion, I will be prepping his lips. So we will be using a lip scrub first. The lip scrub we will be using will be the Trifle Cosmetics Sugar Bunny. It's called the Heavenly Lip Scrub. It's such a cute little packaging. I love it. It's adorable. I'll be just applying a little bit on to this like metally palette. And then I'll just use one of those um, disposable lip brushes to be applying it since the lip scrub can get a little bit of messy. I love how this lip scrub is like green. It's like a lime green. It's so cute. I want you to put your lips together and maybe have chapstick on. After his 
lip scrub is finished, I will be then applying just a little bit of lip balm on his lips to make sure his lips are nice and moisturized. And I'm just using this Sunshade Lip Balm Sunscreen. It's in coconut smoothie flavored. It's by Melaleuca. So I'll usually grab a spatula, like one of these. You can use either end. And then I just swipe a little bit off of this and put it onto that palette. To apply this lip balm, we will be using the Bedellium Tools 936 Tapered Small. It's almost like a concealer brush. I use it for lips though, just because I feel like the it's, it's easier to put like a lip balm or chapstick on with a little bit bigger brush, especially because it'll help moisturize your lips a little bit more. So I get on as much as I can on the brush and then just go in. So now that we've had the chance for the serum and the lotion to absorb into the skin more, the first thing we'll be doing is going in with a anti-shine primer. And I like to use the Touch Up Anti-Shine by Mehron. This comes in light, medium, and dark, which is awesome. So we'll just be using this light one. Feel free to use a good amount of this. You don't really need too much, but anti-shine and mattifying the skin is one of the most important parts of film and photography makeup, especially with all the lighting. We will be applying the anti-shine with this Bedellium Tools 948 brush. They're awesome because they do great after being washed so many times. And it's okay to be going over his facial hair with this because you want to get as much facial skin as possible. So first things first, for concealer, we want to be covering his dark under eye circles. So we want to go in with an orange tinted concealer since orange counteracts the purpley blue shades. So for this, I'll just be going into this Tarte palette and we will be using that orange shade. And with this, I'll just be mixing it in to his actual concealer shade so we end up just doing his concealer and covering his under eye circles at the same time. For his concealer, we will be going in with the NYX cream the full coverage concealers and we'll be going in with shade CJ10 yellow and CJ04 beige. We'll be mixing those together with that orange one. Now I just mixed the shades CJ10 and CJ04 on this palette right here and that's right over here if you can see it. And then you have that little bit of orange right over here. So what I'm going to do is first test it on the side of his neck to make sure that it's his skin tone and he has an olive skin tone so that's why I chose to use a yellow based concealer and then one that has more kind of olivey, a little bit of pink undertones just to kind of make it a little more neutral and not sickly like. So since there's a little bit on the spatula right here, I'll just be testing on his neck first to make sure. And then we'll just blend it in. I like to buff into the skin and then swipe on the edges to make sure it's blended. So now that we checked the skin tone for the concealer, we will be going in the under eyes first with that orange shade and then on top of it, we'll just be putting the concealer and then blending it all out together. We will be blending in the concealer with this angled brush. I like to blend and buff at the same time by swiping down a little bit too. And I like to go under the eye to make sure that we actually cover it up. And I'll also go up until the eyelid as well. Not all over.
And if they have a little bit of redness going on too, you can just get a little bit back on that brush and just go over that area too a little bit. I will then buff in just a teeny bit of concealer on the rest of his face. Not everywhere, just a little bit. Whatever's left on the brush. Sometimes I'll pick up a little bit as well, just so we can even out the skin tone and cover up any little blemish. So now that we have this concealer done, we will be setting it with this brush, the crown brush. It's just your basic kind of setting brush. And we'll be using this NYX Highlight and Contour Pro Palette. Now, I like to set under eyes with banana powder because that also helps with counteracting any dark circles or purpley blue tones. And I like the banana powder too because I honestly feel like it helps set your under eyes like better. And it helps kind of illuminate them a little bit too so they don't just look so ugh. So we'll just be using this banana shade under his eyes. Now to apply this banana powder, I tend to almost do a swiping buffing motion at the same time because it helps to Pat down the concealer and kind of get rid of those streaks, but at the same time get that powder into the skin. After we set the concealer, the under eyes with the banana powder, we will then be setting the rest of the face as well as illuminating it at the same time. So for this, I'm just using this setting brush. This is the Gunmetal Collection from Morphe. It's the G5 brush. I love this one. This is probably one of my favorite powder brushes. Honestly, yeah, it's my go-to for everything. So we'll then be going back into that same NYX palette. And this time, since he has that olive undertone, we'll go in with the champagne shade. So it's this one over here. It has just a little bit of an illuminating effect to the skin, which is going to be very nice in the film and photography lighting, especially for a guy. So we'll just be going in with that on the brush. Buff it into the skin. Forehead first. Cheeks. I like to hit where the light hits on the skin first, so the highest points. Almost like a highlighter, but not really. And this also helps set any other concealer that you put down, especially by covering the blemishes, which is amazing. So now that we have a lot of the face done, I will be then grooming his eyebrows and any other facial hairs just to kind of clean him up just a little bit since he's going to be on camera. So I'll just be using this Chella tweezers. I don't clean them up too much. I really just get in like those like strays. So now that we have his eyebrows just a little bit cleaned up, I will be going back in with the lip balm chapstick and then the powder again. So sometimes for the males, I will put just a teeny bit of nude on their lips just to bring them out a little bit more, but he seems like his lips are 
a pretty different color than his skin tone and they're very moisturized. So we won't be adding any of that. Um, the next step we will be doing is translucent powder to make sure that the face has no shine at all, which is one of the last steps to the face. This powder that I will be using is the original RCMA Makeup No Color Powder. You don't need too much. Sometimes it comes out a lot on the palette and you don't need to pat a lot of it into the skin, just very, very lightly. This is just the Makeup Forever Fan Brush. I love using this for everything from blush to contour to highlight, especially powder, because it definitely gets all the shine off the face, but it also doesn't really pat and cover the whole entire face with this. And since there will be a lot of light, by putting translucent no color powder on the face, there may be white specks, so you really don't want to use a lot of this. I'll just lightly put it all over his face. Now that we have applied the translucent powder to mattify his face more, we will then be setting his face with this Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray, the long lasting one. This is one of the first times that I'm using this. I've used this a few times and it's pretty awesome. So his face is now done and we want to complete this look with making sure that his hair is all ready for film and camera and all of that fun stuff. So I'll just be going over his hair with the authentic brand Floyd's Grooming Molding Paste. Since he already has a good amount of product in his hair, I'm really not going to be using a lot at all. I'm just going to be making sure those pieces are in the right spot. So now that we completed his face and we made sure that his hair was in the correct spot and everything's all good with that, I always make sure that I have some blotting paper. I usually carry around the NYX matte blotting paper in case they get oily on camera. So this is always good to have on standby as well as your powder, which is the RCMA translucent one or whichever powder you choose to use. So yeah. That is the completed look for men's makeup, for film, and photography. This is just one of my favorite ways of doing it. This is what I found that I'm comfortable with what works. Yeah, I think he looks handsome. He looks handsome. <laughs> This was so much fun to film. I love doing men's makeup. This is just one of the many ways that I do it and this is definitely one of my go-tos. And yeah, like, subscribe, and comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. Turn on your notification bell so you know when uh, one of my new videos is posted. And the links from some of the products that I use will be down in the description box below. And yeah, I love y'all. Bye.